Before I start this video, I should give you a disclaimer that this video is not sponsored by anybody. So everything that I eat, everything that I use, I paid with my own money. Where do I start? Mm, maybe I should tell you that I'm quite a confident person in real life. I don't really care if people say I'm fat, I should go to diet or whatever. I don't really care. I think all people are beautiful. I don't think that fat people is ugly and you should not too. But what I do care is if my clothes doesn't fit me anymore. I do have to buy everything's new. That's a nightmare, okay? So as you can see in the title of this video, I've been using this meal plan company called Green Spoon. They are offering, they are, uh, they are offering three kinds of uh, meal plan. The first one is uh, training if you want to build your muscle, uh, and the second one is maintaining. So if you are feel pretty good with your weight but you want to stay healthy you can choose that one and the third one is diet meal plan if you want to lose weight they have this meal plan for you i'm using this meal plan company service just to see if i really can lose weight and challenge myself a little and maybe in the end of this challenge i would fit better in my clothes who knows i subscribe to their 20 day meal plan service they only deliver on weekdays, so Monday to Friday. And on the weekend, you have to plan your own meal. It cost me 2.9 million IDR or around 200 USD. It's, it's about $10 a day, $5 a meal. It may sound pretty cheap for people outside of Indonesia, but honestly, for Indonesian standard, it's not the cheapest. But for a healthy meal that you don't have to cook, it sounds pretty good for me. Like I said, they deliver your meal from Monday to Friday. It's around 10 to 12, but in my case, they always deliver mine around 9.30. I don't know why. They deliver lunch and dinner at the same time, so you should put them in the refrigerator until you've ready to eat them. They say usually people lose one or two kilograms in five days. It sounds pretty crazy for me, but all right. They also give you a diet guideline to make sure you achieve your maximum result. Let me read the guideline for you right now. Uh, the first one is because they only provide you with lunch and dinner, so they recommend uh, some breakfast menu for you and prepare it yourself, of course. The first one they recommend is one slice of toast, whole wheat bread, or one portion of fruit, or boiled egg, one boiled egg, of course or one cup of green tea or black tea, avoid sugar or creamer. The second one is they suggest you to drink a lot of water, 2 or 3 liters a day. Uh, and also you can drink your morning water with lemon with breakfast. They also recommend you to exercise 3 to 5 times a week. And if you're still hungry, even after you eat, you can eat one or two portion of fruit for snacks. But avoid granola, flavored yogurt, cold pressed juice, and sweet foods such as cookies and dessert because they are all high in sugar. Now let's talk about meal variation. So far, they've given me Indonesian, Korean, Chinese, and Western food. So for Indonesian food, they are really, really creative with what they made and they've given us a lot of variation every day. So we don't actually feel like craving anything crazy. And I also appreciate that they made all the sauces from scratch. They even made their own sambal. And it might, in my opinion, it's even better than the store-bought one. Far better. And my other favorite meal is Korean and Chinese. So I concluded that they're pretty good with the Asian cooking. Honestly, I'm disappointed in their meal once. It's their Halloween special edition menu. The bread filling is a bit mushy, a bit sour, and the potato is just bland. But I do appreciate that they are making it look scary, so it fitted the theme a little bit. But not a big fan of the taste, to be honest. But it's just one meal out of 19, so it's pretty good. It's pretty okay. Even though they claim that their meal are low in sodium and use no MSG, but I find most of the meal are pretty tasty and well seasoned. For these two weeks, honestly, I quite enjoy the feeling that you don't have to prepare anything. Uh, especially these two weeks has been crazy for me. Having my meal prepared for me 
It's like having a peace of mind. And when I'm ready for my dinner or lunch, I just grab it from my refrigerator and heat it in my microwave. It's quite a really, really nice feeling. But I do think that not able to snack, it sucks. All I'm allowed to eat is just fruit, and fruit doesn't fill the void in my heart, you know. No, no, no. And even when I'm eating fruit, I have to control myself, and I'm. Only allowed to eat one portion or two portion a day. That's pretty small, you know. Like one bowl of fruits, like this big, it's not gonna fill you up for a long time. So on the second week, I made myself a low carbs, low sugar, healthy brownie, you know, with a protein powder, of course. It tastes okay, not not the best, but. I'm pretty happy with that, and I find that they are trying to keep our calories intake under 1,000 a day. So I'm also keep it in mind, and I'm using this app called Lose It. As you can see, I've been pretty good with it. I keep my calorie intake under 1,000 even on the weekend. I'm so proud of myself. So the other, the other hard thing for me is the weekend. On the first weekend, I got my friends coming over, and I really, really want to hang out with her, maybe eat with her. But because I'm in the middle of this challenge, so I have to bring my own food, <laughs> and I guess it's alright because I still can eat with her at least. And also, she are kind enough to give us a cake, but I can't eat that. So my husband devour all of it. And the second week is my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom! I can't control what I eat. Uh, I'm not gonna stress myself out about sodium intake or MSG, whatever, because that's not what normal people do in their mother's birthday. So my experience for these two weeks has been okay, but maybe next time I would subscribe it weekly, not monthly. I miss cooking a little, and I miss my dessert. For sure. Before I start subscribing to this meal plan, my weight is 63.5 kilograms, and in the end of these two weeks, my weight is 62. So I lost 1.5 kilograms. Not too shabby, I think. And I still have two weeks left, so I hope I can at least lose another one kilogram. That would be nice. So I guess see you in two weeks, and I'll give you my final result. Wish me luck.